Now I will tell you how to reach the disc through the Cambium triangle. So if we see the superior articular process which is the most important structure for the disc because that is the guard of the spinal cord. So if I am watching AP view, if I am coming lateral to the superior articular process, I will come to the lateral of the disc. I cannot come to the middle of the disc. To come to the middle of the disc, I have to come oblique to the middle, usually from the spine to the middle of the vertebral body around 7 to 8 centimeter. So if I am taking 7 to 8 centimeter here in a landmark technique, you can enter to 45 degree and it will reach the disc. But as we are doing under fluoroscopy, we will see after taking AP, after doing squaring of the disc, not the vertebra, squaring of the disc because disc to end plate squaring is more important than the vertebral body. So because that is your target. So now after squaring, you take the CM that much oblique where the superarticular process is taking almost half of the disc. That means it is opening the disc almost half. So then only you will be able to reach the middle of the disc at the nucleus. Okay. For endoscopy, transplant endoscopy, our technique is different where our target is to reach the posterior part of the annulus, not at the middle of the disc, not at the nucleus. So for that automatically angulation is less and the entry point will be more lateral. I am not discussing that here. I am discussing how to reach the middle of the disc at the nucleus for your discography, for your ozone therapy, for laser disc decompression, everywhere you are coming into the middle of the disc. Okay. So now after taking that CM that much oblique, the most important last bony point for every procedure always I try to describe which is the last bony point because we can't see the depth. The last bony point is the superadicular process. So my needle has to touch the superadicular process and you can see what is the distance between the superadicular process and the annulus. It is not more than half centimeter. So if you can safely touch the superadicular process, just turn in the needle and you can enter into the disc easily. Rarely you will puncture the dura because disc is already bulged and dura is already pushed back. So your target is to hit the superadicular process, not to go directly to the disc. And another thing, very important, you see, if I am taking this is the flat plateau of the end plate. So here is the disc. So superadicular process is almost taking the disc height. So if you want to come to the disc without touching the root, you have to take the superadicular process totally covering the disc. So if you see here, so this is the root is coming like this because the cambium triangle, the hypotenuse is the root, end plate is one lower border and medially you can see either the superadicular process you think or you can think of traversing root, dura. So that's a triangle. It is not a triangle. It is a pyramid separate space. So unless you take the superadicular process taking the whole part of the disc you will see that nerve will look it is coming down you will hit the nerve so i will show you in the fluoro very very important point when you are squaring this disc you have to see when you are targeting this disc you have to see the superadicular process is taking the whole disc so the nerve will actually come up it is not coming up it is you are watching from that angle so that nerve is going up so easily once you hit the superadicular process, just turning the needle, immediately you can go inside the disc without touching the nerve. So we cannot touch the nerve because we can't see the nerve. It is your imagination. So that will help you by this superadicular process. If I am taking the superadicular process at the disc level, I am hitting the superadicular process, then see the direction of my needle. It is bending medially. Now I will turn the needle and go inside to be more specific, to go more medially after just crossing this hurdle again I will turn the needle medially and I will go more medial to the disc in that way you can safely go more medially and inside the disc without touching the root so now I will describe these things how it will be done and another point from here when you see the obliquely this is a three-dimensional picture of the superior process when you see in the fluoro you will see a line the lateral border you will lateral surface you will be shown like a line. So your target, you will take the entry point in the skin, not at the target. You are taking little lateral, one centimeter lateral, so that this bend of the needle can play 
properly like this way so that it can come exactly touching the supraducular process when it will reach here but when you are taking the needle entry point at the skin it will be little lateral and it should not cross the line till I am hitting this body otherwise it will be posterior very very important thing this line you got this line I will show this thing again in the fluoroscope you can see the supraducular process that line your target is to hit this bone till you are hitting the bone don't change the lateral view a public view anything if you cross this line without touching so definitely you are posterior so these things I will show you for this disc and then in lateral view you go inside the disc if you don't want to go to the disc if you want to give transform epidural you don't go inside you just keep the needle touching the annulus and give transform epidural injecting steroid so that is another process but transform epidural through cambium strangle it is not the actual procedure it is the procedure when we are going to the disc on the way we are giving this doing this procedure cambium strangle is made to go inside the disc let's see the procedure so this is L5, this is L4, this is L3. I'm trying to enter into the disc at the L3-4. Let's see, I will try from right side. So after squaring, now I will take the C-arm that much oblique where the superarticular process will touch the middle of the disc. So here you can see the supraducular process is almost, this is my target, supraducular process is almost coming to the middle of the disc. Now what I was telling, supraducular process should take the height of the disc. So that means this is, if you see the cambium triangle, so this is the root, this is end plate, this is the dura traversing root or supraducular process, whatever you say. So that is the triangle. Because many times, many pain physicians have complained me whenever I am trying for a disc, I am touching the nerve. So, for that, you have to see whether the supraarticular process is taking the disc or not. Once the supraarticular process is coming exactly on the disc, nerve will automatically go up. You compare with this level. So, there, supraarticular process is below. So, automatically, nerve is here. It is not that nerve is here. Because you are watching from above, so it is coming down. So that's why for this level, again, I have to take the CM more quadrocephalic to make this disc squared and supraducular process automatically will go up. So in that way, you have to think as my target is there. If I want, I can take the CM little quadrocephalic more to make the supraducular process little more high. So now after that, I will take the entry point not from here, little lateral because I am taking the point not here at the skin so this journey is left this journey is left to reach here as my needle is already bent so you can work with this bending like this way and ultimately you will exactly come here after reaching there once you hit your target is to hit this bone this is the last bony point you are quite safe now you turn the needle and go inside the disc to be more specific so you hit the needle turn the needle once you cross this hurdle again you turn the needle so that you can go more medial so i will take the entry point see i have taken the entry point little lateral to the supraducular process now what i did i am taking the Siam little quadrocephalic to take the supraarticular process more in the disc. I have taken the Siam little quadrocephalic. Now I have taken the supraarticular process almost inside the disc. So nerve automatically going up. Now I am taking the little point little below and do the procedure. So that's the entry point. Now again you have to think about the obliquity. What should be the obliquity of the needle? So needle should be parallel with this 
C and parallel with this trajectory of the image intensifier. This is the two angle. If you are maintaining this two angle parallel with this C and parallel with this image intensifier angle, then you will be almost at the end on view. Because this is the two angle, this is a two dimensional picture. Let's see how the needle is showing. See, exact. You can see needle is coming exactly end on view because many people at the beginning of the career, they want to do everything on end on view. So that is a very, very important point. Taking the needle parallel with the C arm and the parallel with the image intensifier, the needle will be exactly at the end on view. Now, I will play with the needle with the bend and try to hit the supraarticular process. So very, very important. We can see this line with the superarticular process. So this line is actually the surface. Because this is a three-dimensional picture. This is a two-dimensional picture. I can see a line. So till I'm hitting this bone, I should not cross this line. Till I'm hitting this bone, I should not cross this line. Then I will be posterior. You may go interla minor. But be very, very careful. So somehow you have to manipulate the needle in such a way you should touch this bone. Then only you change the position of the C arm. Then in lateral view, maintaining the same cephalocaudal view, you just enter into the foramen and into the disc. So it is showing I am crossing the line. So immediately what I will do, I will come out a little bit and turn the needle and go again. Now it has come out and I can see not going posterior to that line. So now I am hitting the bone. So at this moment, if I want to see in lateral view, I can see in lateral view. Let's see in the lateral view. Then you will come to know that I am touching the superarticular process. In this view also, you can finish when you practice regularly. In lateral view, I will see the needle is at the hitting the superarticular process. Now I will turn the needle and go inside the foramen and go into the disc. Let's see in the lateral view. Now I can see the needle is at the superarticular process. Now I'll turn the needle and go inside the foramen. Now I'm at the foramen, nerve is coming like this way. Nerve is above the needle. So there's no question of touching. If I'm coming in the anterior space, just outside the annulus, I can do transformal epidural through trambian strangle. Or I will go inside the disc so I have gone inside the disc. So you can see I have gone inside the disc. If you think the needle is little below towards the lower end plates, you come out and change the direction and go little up. I am again turning the needle so that it will be at the middle. So in that way, now I have come almost at the middle of the disc. I will see what is the picture in the AP view. Transferring the picture on the other side. Let's see in the AP view. So now I can see. So that's the needle is in the AP view, almost in the middle of the disc. The lateral view is also almost in the middle of the disc. So this is the technique for intradiscal procedure for our pain physicians to reach the middle of the disc to reach the nucleus for either ozone therapy or provocative discography or parthenous laser disc decompletion. Thank you.